Uh, good morning. Um, could I welcome everybody this morning to our session? Um, you're very welcome to Dublin Castle uh, for the meeting of the chairpersons of the Agricultural and Fisheries Committees. I hope you all um, enjoyed last night, those of you who were in the family, and um, so thank you for arriving um, in cooperation and arriving here this morning and um, being ready to go at the appointed time. Um, just before we commence the session, um, there's a couple of housekeeping matters that need, must be attended to. As you know, the theme for today's meeting is the future of the common agriculture and fisheries policies and support strategies for young farmers. In each of today's three sessions, each, each session will commence with a presentation from the guest speakers and this will be followed by questions from the floor. I intend to be begin by allocating uh, three minutes for each contribution and ask people um, to make, um, put questions to the guest speakers as much as possible and to stick to the three minutes. And then I'll take answers um, in batches of five from the invited speakers. Um, in order to facilitate the efficient running of the meeting, I would request to complete the uh, request from the floor forms which are in your delegate pack. These are colour coded green for the session one, ivory for session two and tangerine for the final session. There are additional forms available at the back of the hall um, on the document table. And I would ask that you fill in your request to, uh, for the floor um, at the start of each session and then hold it up and there's a member of staff on both sides um, who will collect the forms and bring them here to the Secretariat. And just Okay, thank you for your cooperation. So we now turn to the main items for discussion. The, today's meeting builds on the excellent work undertaken by our predecessors in the, the Cypriot Presidency. And I'd like to congratulate my colleague, um, Mr. Yanakis Gabriel, um, and uh, Chairman of the House Standing Committee of Agriculture and Natural Resources and the Houses of, of the House of Representatives in Cyprus. I would like to welcome Mr. Dacian Cholos, EU Commissioner for Agriculture and Rural Development, and Mr. Simon Coveney, TD, Irish Government Minister for Agriculture, Food and the Marine, on, uh, on the update of, on the negotiations of the Common Agricultural Policy. I understand that the negotiations on CAP are progressing rapidly and a lively discussion is expected here this morning. Negotiations on the reform of the Common Agricultural Policy have lasted for well over two years and there is much work still to be done. There are a range of issues still to be agreed upon, but the European Council agreement on the multi-financial framework reached on the 7th and 8th of February has been a major step in a positive direction. The European Parliament's ComAgri Committee has been working hard to reach a common position, and I commend Michel Danton, Giovanni Lavia, and Louis Manuel Coppolas Santos for their hard work as rapporteurs in the European Parliament. And although we may not agree always with, some, with the positions taken, I do understand that getting a final agreement and satisfying all stakeholders is extremely challenging. Uh, for many reasons it is difficult it is vital that we get this right. Sustainable food production is one of the greatest challenges facing the European Union. The global consumption of milk and meat is increasing. Global demand is projected to rise by 100% for milk between 20, 2000 and 2050 and by 88% for meat during the same period. As we move forwards, we are seeing a vital need for agriculture to adapt to climate change and global warming. Developing a climate plan for the agri-food sector will be instrumental in ensuring the long-term long -term sustainability of food production in the European Union. To that end, I believe we need to develop a total land use policy to meet the equal challenges of producing more food and mitigating climate change. The importance of maintaining a CAP budget and the single farm payment cannot be overestimated. The livelihoods of our farmers depend on the single farm payment that the quality of food production in the EU remains at the highest standard. By working closely with farmers and giving them the means to produce sustainably, the EU is ensuring a better future for all its citizens. In our second session today we will discuss the theme of young farmers 
And finally, in our third session, we will have an update on the current negotiations on the reform of the Common Fisheries Policy with Ms. Maria, Maria Damanaki, EU Commissioner for Maritime Affairs and Fisheries, and with Minister Coveney again. The opportunity to chair this meeting is greatly valued. I look forward to an interesting debate and hope that by conducting proceedings in an open and, broad and broadcast live on UPC channel 207 and on the internet, we will provide the citizens we serve with a window in into the discussions and debates between European parliamentarians, the Presidency of the EU Council and the European Commission. So can I now call on Commissioner Sholos to make his opening address.